Oh dear. You. Good work. It looks like a solid, cheap wood wall. Mm, could you please go chop down some trees? We really need some trees. And build a storehouse over here as well, I think. For when all those run out. It should be pointed out that I can't hear the game sound at the moment. Oh dear. Uh, because I haven't set up the sound in such a way that I can hear it. Um, the microphone and the game are going out the same stream, so I can't listen to it because hearing your own voice just makes casting impossible. It really does. But I hope you're enjoying the music. The music is good for a stream, I think. It's not too grating, and given how long you will be playing this game for as an MMO, it is important that the music is not grating. This seems to be going ridiculously well again. See, aside from that uh, tower defence, which I utterly failed at, uh, this seems to be going quite well. I know this is the only um, repeatable mission that I've got other than the PvPs is actually that stupid tower defence mission, which seems like a very easy way to grind points. I'm not sure entirely what they were thinking there, because that just makes it sound like an opportunity to grind. But, I mean, some people will like that, and if they want to do that, that's fine. I will continue enjoying the varied and interesting quests, because that sounds like much more fun. Um, I'm running out of berries, aren't I? You go build a farm. Now, these quest maps have a lot of things going on in them. I think this is actually just flavour, because you can't use any of this. I mean, it would be suicide to go and send my villagers up here to go and get resources, for example. I'm not going to use those, because I'm just not going to run out during the course of this game. If I have, then I've probably failed miserably in some way, shape or form. It does mean, though, that you, after the game finishes, you can continue researching and trying out your different units. Um, I don't know whether that was a deliberate benefit, but it's certainly one that you can take advantage of. There we go, they seem to be waiting for reinforcements of some kind. Uh, they have hoplites as well. Bandit hoplites from the look of it. Oh, actually, no, I'm not playing against bandits anymore, am I? This is um, another Greek empire that I can't pronounce, so I'm not even going to try. I'm terrible at Greek words. I think it's very obvious that I'm terrible at Greek words. Um, I have seven idle villagers. That is pathetic. No wonder I'm not gathering resources very quickly. What are all you guys doing? Oh, crap! How the hell did he sneak in the back? Uh, playing without sound does have its disadvantages. I had no idea that guy was in the middle of my base. And that is extremely bad. Especially now that that assault's coming out. I'm supposed to be ambushing them, not the other way around. Why are they sending in the archers first? Is this to go and protect the other guy? If it is, it's a very stupid strategy because I'm just going to rip them to pieces. Hmm. Let's send these guys up and. Ambush! Ha! Die! And what the hell, let's use that as well on you guys. Cool. I'm going to cut through them very easily. And I think that will be the end of the mission. Excellent. Now let's go and claim my prizes. Um, cut that halfway. And we're going to send them to kill that. Well, another fairly easy mission introduced me to uh, defensive play, presumably, and also introduced me to playing against another Greek player. 
um, because so far I've only been fighting against the bandit race, so now I actually get to fight some proper Greek armies. I do like the animations. The animations are extremely polished. Which you would expect from Robot Entertainment, Gas Powered Games and Microsoft. There's no reason this game should be poor quality whatsoever. And so far it isn't. Oh good, I'm getting XP from acquiring these chests as well. Which will hopefully push me over the threshold. I'm almost certain it will, and I will be able to get to age 3. Yes! Wonderful! What have I got? I've got a pine bow. That's going to be extremely useful. Leather. Skinner's Workshop and Farmer's Workshop. Great. Let's head back then. Speak to Agamemnon. Your ambush has made these misguided soldiers wonder if what's his face is worth fighting for. We must press on. Level 10, yes. So let's go and see what's available in age 3. I know what I'm going to be purchasing. Military Siege Workshop, except. Not even going to look at the other ones. Um, one thing I have noticed on here is that the fourth age has these capital technologies. So you have the tidal forces and the dock masters that give you big bonuses, like really big bonuses to specific units. I'm hoping that these are not universally available for everyone to get because these technologies are extremely powerful. I'm hoping you can only get a small number of them throughout the game because, you know, more starting gold and better mining conservation is a big deal. Uh, being able to get tw plus 25 health on all of your buildings is a big deal. It can draw out the game and give you a chance to recover. It can make your defensive structures much better. So there's some really powerful things here, and 15% movement speed is amazing for villagers, just to get that free at the start of the game. Um, wonders? Oh yes, because you can also win the game through wonder victories, so this game will reward turtlers. If you are a turtler and you have not been able to find a game that's really been suiting, say in the likes of StarCraft, then you will enjoy this because there is a turtle victory if you want to go down that route. And just remember to scout if you do that. You can produce a temple which allows me to get priests. Wallalo! Support units convert enemy units. Wallalo! And heals friendly units out of combat. Oh. Uh, grants peace the Priest, the ability to convert buildings but sacrifice itself in the process. I like the fact that it's called martyrdom. It's a useful ability, and I can of course build castles. So yes, age 3 is when everything gets really cool. You unlock more units, more upgrades, more abilities. Uh, I can get hoplites, I can get peltasts, and I can get prodromos units. So... Is that Padromosai? Uh, the plural of Padromos? I have no idea. That's Roman, isn't it? To put I at the end of everything. I don't know what the Greek equivalent is. Oos, maybe. I can produce a fire ship as well. A shame I can't produce a uh, Quadrium, but um, it would be nice to see a bit more variety in the naval units, but that's acceptable, I suppose. Um, so yeah, plenty to unlock at this level. This is where the game should open up and become a bit more interesting, hopefully. I'm going to produce some things and then I'm going to close the stream for a while and then maybe come back in about half an hour after this is done. So let's produce a... Have I already got two Skinner's Workshops? I do, don't I? So I can produce two Farmer's Workshops as well. Look at doing that. There we go. I can produce a farmer's workshop. Good. Plop that down. Plop 
fly the pine bow to my archer units. That is just what I wanted. And I'll throw off the other two buildings because I'm not going to use those. That would be silly. And I have a stupid amount of resources. I nearly, really need to find ways of spending them. Unfortunately, I haven't got any of the various upgrades that apply to my two crafting skills. I've got lots of upgrades related to crafting skills that I don't have, but I haven't got any related to ones I do have. Um, do, 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 do. That's quite a useful ability. I shall consider that. I'm obviously buying these with special points, as you can do. See, there is no way to remove those as far as I'm aware. Maybe that's something that I should put as a beta report, uh, but I'm not sure if that's just me not knowing the appropriate controls. Either way, um, I can report the fact that I can't understand the controls because it's not immediately obvious what you do to get rid of those. Um, what else can I get? I suppose I could probably... See, I should be getting one of these recipe stores, but I just don't have enough gold. Because these will allow me to build recipes, which I can then use with those, and I don't have to get them through quests. So, these are very important. I think I'll have to get those. I'm going to take a break now. I will probably be coming on shortly in the future, and we can have a go with some of this new tech and new quests. Thank you very much for watching.